Hey, it's Fern, and in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can get two dogs to get along. Okay, here's today's question. It comes in from Pam. She says, how do I get my two dogs to like each other? One I've had for six years, and a year ago, uh, we, got a, uh, we got a five-month-old puppy just joined our family. Okay, so we have a new dog and an existing dog. How do we get them, how do we get two dogs to get along? And if we just throw them together, we're just kind of hoping that things will work out. I don't like to do that. I like to set everyone up to succeed. So what we need to do is make sure we bring them together in a nice, less confrontational way. So how do we do that? Number one, if you're bringing a new dog home, I recommend they meet each other a couple times before you, you bring them home, if possible. Um, or even if you just maybe have a, a friend coming over with their dog and they're just gonna, you're just going to hang out together. You know, they're not going to be there long term, but we just want to know how can we get them together. What's, how can we set them up to be, have a fun time together? So what I would do is have them meet outside, you know, typically on neutral ground, and that could be just the house next to yours in the street, and immediately go for a walk. The walk is so powerful to dogs, and it's a great way to provide a positive, non-confrontational experience with one another. So instead of having two dogs, we unify them as kind of one unit, one pack, as teammates. Walk doesn't have to be long. Obviously, the longer the better, but it can just be five minutes or ten minutes or so, whatever you can do. We just want to start off their relationship with that bonding experience, which is very positive and very canine. Then we can bring them into the yard or into the house together as one unit. Otherwise, you have this me versus you new dog coming into the existing dog's territory. You know, it's a little bit diff a little bit trickier. It doesn't mean it's not going to work. It just means it's a little bit trickier. And I want to make sure we're doing everything we can to ensure that they're going to have a good time. Then initially, as two dogs are just getting to know each other, we want to be very careful around resources. So that's toys, food, uh, sleeping areas, couches and stuff, and it could be even people. We want to be careful about those resources, specifically if your dog has any issues with resource guarding. Because I don't know what these dogs are going to value and how they're going to feel about one another. Especially if they just met, they haven't really developed a relationship and they don't know kind of where they stand with one another. So we want to control resources completely as we learn about each individual dog and how they relate to one another. Now, if they do get into a scuffle, doesn't mean it's not going to work. It just means we have to figure out some, we have to maybe walk them a little bit more or just engineer things so that they, they can get to learn to, to exist with each other. Some dogs need a little time, especially if they've been in the only dog in the house for years and years and here comes a rambunctious puppy into their life. It takes some time to adjust to that and, and be okay with it. So just because you have some conflict early on doesn't mean it's gonna, it can't go away. So we just need to, the more you walk them together, the better. And also, if you have dogs with a mismatch in energy, so say you have an older dog and you bring a puppy in, the puppy's energy is here and he just wants to play all the time. Your older dog did not sign up for that. He just wants to chill. So we have to drain the younger dog's energy somewhere in other constructive ways before I bring them together. Because if you have that mismatch in energy, it's going to be a clash. Um, so we want to try to level the energy playing field there. All right. I hope that helps. If you like these, you know the deal. Sign up for my mailing list. You can do that uh, somewhere with the link here. And if you do that, I'll send you lots of good information, tips on behavior and training, as well as you'll get my free guide, The 10 Quick and Simple Ways for a Better and Happier Dog. That's it for now. I'll see you real soon. Enjoy the day with your dog.